Hi everyone, it's Faith from Creative Bug coming at you from Facebook Live, and I have another bubble printing project to show you. I'm really excited about this one because it's good for kids if you want to go non-toxic and low-key and just have a messy fun time. It also gets really interesting the more fine art you go. So we're going to use some scrap paper and we're going to use some art paper. Uh, what you will need for this is water, about a cup. You'll need some small dishes to make your bubbles in. You will need um, a tablespoon per color of, uh, of dish detergent, or dish soap, excuse me. Not the detergent, you don't want the crystals, but the soap. And we're using both Wilton food coloring um, and we're using India ink. So the food coloring is definitely preferred for children and general klutzes, of which I am. And the India ink will produce some really nice, fancy effects. Um, we also have some scrap paper, we have gift tags, we have pre-made cards, and I'm going to be using this nice watercolor paper that I found in our storage room to make the bubble portraits. So starting with the general bubble printing, we're going to use a tablespoon of the detergent, pour it into our containers, and we're going to use, you don't need a lot of dye or ink. Start small, you can always add more. I'm gonna do uh, 10 to 12 drops of this pink. And then in this other container, I'm going to do the India ink, about a dropper full. I'm going to add a, a second, a few more drops. And now I'll be adding water and mixing it up. I'd say if you did a tablespoon of dye or ink, you should do two tablespoons of water. And now, oh, the straw, that's the most important part. You can't do it without the straw. If you were to try to put your face in it and blow bubbles, you would dye the whites of your eyes. It would be a disaster. So now we blend together our soap, our water, our dye. And for this one, we're blending together our India ink our water and our dye. And there are two basic ways of making the prints once you have blown the bubbles, which we'll do momentarily, um, which is a dabbing method where we touch the paper to the surface of the bubbles and a plopping method where we take our bubble tower and we scoop it on top of the paper. Oh, and before we get to the fun part, if you're just tuning in, hello, I'm Faith from Creative Bug coming at you from Facebook Live as we do every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, all past classes are on our website, creativebug.com slash CBTV. If you want to watch me do other things with bubbles, like the marbling class I did uh, two weeks ago, that's available there. Also, for our Facebook viewers, we appreciate you so much, and we love talking to you on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you're interested in Creative Bug, please Sign up for a free one month trial using the promo code Facebook30. And now the bubbles. So you take your straw, you blow into the solution we've made, and we'll start with we'll start with the gift tag to see what happens. Get a mound the size of a small citrus or a small grapefruit, a large orange, and we're just gonna press it down on the surface of the bubbles. So this is the effect we get at our first attempt. It's not too vibrant, and you can't really see the detail of the bubbles, so I'm going to add a couple more drops of food coloring. Stir it up. And then we'll use this tag to show you how layering colors can work out. Go to the other side. Yeah, 
that's a little bit more exciting, right? And also, if the bubbles stick to the surface, I like to let them stay there because when they pop, the rings end up being a little bit darker. Let's try this with the India ink just to see. Same thing, we're pressing it into the surface. Ah, that looks good, right? Maybe a little bit more ink. Kids Aid's Abby would like to know, is this safe for kids to do? Is there a non-toxic version? Hi, Abby. Very good question. Yes, this is safe for kids to do. Um, the problem is more with the soap than it is with the ink. So the Wilton dyes are non-toxic. That's why we recommend them for children. I wouldn't recommend using acrylic inks or India inks with your kids. Um, and the most important part, of course, is to emphasize to them that they have to blow and not drink it down. That would be a terrible experience for everyone. So yes, it's safe for your kids if they know how to blow with a straw and not suck with a straw. Apparently, that's like something that is learned later in early childhood. Like this, the straw situation. My sister has a child. I'm learning these strange facts about children. Okay, we're, it's a tough thing to master. It's pretty tricky. Um, and also, grown ups don't suck in either. That's it's grown ups or children shouldn't ingest the bubble liquid. It will just taste bad though. Yeah. It'll taste bad, but it's not dangerous. Well, anyone who's had their mouth washed out with soap as a foul mouthed child knows it's, it's far more than a bad taste. It's a profoundly unpleasant experience. Now we're going to try the scooping technique, or the plopping technique. We did the press. Now we're going to do the plop. And this is my favorite part. So we're blowing into the bubble solution. And instead of pressing it down, we're going to knock it off the bubbles with the knife. So I'm working onto this pre-made card. It's the same on both sides. It doesn't need to be a card. Then it's more useful. And then you hold the bubbles over the surface and gently knock them off. So remember how I told you before we like to let the bubbles dry on the surface? This is what happens. You get these really crisp outlines. It looks so nice. Um, and also, here's the difference between um, I'm going to show you with the watercolor paper, which will look really nice. I hope. We'll see. Should we do that again, knock the tower off? Do it right in the middle. I like to think of these as bubble portraits, because they're so ephemeral. But this is a way to get them to stay. While this is drying, once again, I'm Faith from Creative Bug. Check us out Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 PM. If you are interested in spending more quality time with Creative Bug, I encourage you to sign up for a one month free trial using the promo code Facebook30. Um, Come join us. It's terrific. Over 700 classes, new content being added weekly. We have a great community of commenters. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, and so we're watching now our bubble portrait slowly dry. How fantastic is that? Um, it's also fun playing around if you have different colors of paper. Here are some we did earlier with this blue. Also, layering is a really fun technique. Uh, Beth, Beth wants to know if you've ever tried layering all of the colors to make a rainbow one. Beth, that's a terrific idea. I definitely think that that should be attempted. If you do so, you'll have to let us know in the comments. I think for that, maybe you'd want, um, like these are the wider dishes, and so the bubbles end up being about this big. But if you had a tiny dish, or you even did like a, uh, like a bubble wand, or do you remember those bubble pipes that had the four holes on the top and you'd pretend to be smoking and then the bubbles? That's kind of old timey, isn't it? 
Uh, but that would be great for making stripes of dyes. So let's take a peek at our portrait now. It's almost completely deflated. And I have fantasies about it's like framing them really nicely. So let's do, we're gonna layer some colors on one, and then I think we'll wrap it up. So here is our card with the plop technique using India ink, and I'm just gonna add some blue, I'm gonna add some red, let's see what happens. Also, if you wanted to make just decorative paper for collaging, I'd recommend using a wider tray so you can get a lot more surface area. Oh, see, that layering looks fantastic. Okay, one more color. I'm gonna dip it in. Look at that. So if you give this a try, please let us know in the comments. Send us your pictures. We hope you join us every Tuesdays and Thursdays on Facebook Live. And one last time, and then I'm done for today, I promise. If you want to join us at creativebug.com for a free one month trial, go to uh, creativebug.com, enter the promo code Facebook30. Thank you so much.